Hey there. Welcome to module five of our place value series. In this module, we're going to look at how we can place certain numbers on a number line and use that number line as a tool to round numbers to the nearest multiple of 10. Now, sometimes our number lines will be counting by tens, sometimes by hundreds, thousands, or even 10,000s. So it's important to pay attention to what the number line is counting by and what, your, what place value you're trying to round the number to. In the first task, you're going to evaluate what the number line is counting by and use that to fill in the missing intervals. In order to type your response, all you need to do is double click on the white box with the green outline and you'll be able to type in your answer. In order to circle what the number line is counting by, you can go to the top, select the drop down menu, and choose the scribble tool. That will allow you to create a circle in order to select your answer here. Then you're going to tell a little bit about how you knew what those missing intervals were. Moving on, you're going to practice placing numbers in their proper location on the number line. Now, it will take a little bit of estimation to figure out where they belong, but your place should make sense. You'll look at what the number line is counting by. You'll look at the number you're trying to place. And all you'll need to do is click and drag to place it where you want it on the number line. Then you're going to use that model to determine which number is greater and explain how you know. Next, we're going to move on to placing numbers on the number line and using that number line to round the number to the nearest multiple of 10. Once you place, we'll do one as an example. This is the number 88. I know it's going to come between 80 and 90. 88 is closer to 90 than it is to 80. So I'm going to place it right about there on the number line. Now, when I look at this number line, since I know 88 is closer to 90 than to 80, then I know 88 rounds to 90. Does that make sense? You're going to repeat that process for each number as you go through. Once you've rounded both numbers, you'll take this star and place it next to the number that is greater. Next, you're going to reflect on how did you know where to place the numbers on the number line. You'll repeat that process for a few examples. Sometimes you'll need to circle what the number line is counting by using your scribble tool. Focusing on what the number line is counting by can help you know what place value you're really rounding to. You have a few different examples where you will repeat that same process, but notice we're counting by different place values each time. This number line is counting by 10,000s, for example. So pay close attention to what those number lines are counting by. You'll notice when the number line is counting by a certain value, that is also the value that you are rounding to when you use that number line to round. So in this case, we're using this number line to round to the same place value that this number line is counting by. Next, you'll move on to build your own intervals on the number line based on the number that you're trying to round. It's important to read the directions carefully. For example, this, this particular problem wants you to round this number to the nearest 100. So what you'll need to do is look at this number and determine which two multiples of 100 would come on either side of the number line of this number. You'll fill those in and then round 634 to the nearest 100 and type your response down here. You'll repeat that same process for multiple examples before finally taking some time to reflect on how placing a number on a number line can help you round a number. Thanks so much for watching and happy learning.